have our tip of the week is adding details to the foundation. We'll go through that. So if you have not done this before, you can create uh, details within our fill patterns as well. So for example, if we're in a foundation, we may want to create for the rebar uh, a, a little hole for the rebar to show where that goes. Now, the thing about ArchiCAD is that, uh, or about complex profiles, is that you're not actually um, modeling that rebar. I'm not actually going in here and modeling another fill pattern. I guess I could, but but that typically what people do in order to create that that hole for the, the rebar is they simply create a hole in the fill. And with um, fill patterns, you can't create a, um, a circle. I can't, in other words, I can't go in and just um, tell it to do a circle, right? Uh, like a can of hole. So for example, I can select a fill typically, and then with the fill tool selected, I can start to draw a hole. But that hole is simply a rectangular hole, it's not a circular hole. So in order to create a circular hole, we need to first draw a circle where we need that to go. We then need to select that fill, and then we need to uh, hold our space bar down, and our space bar just click on the edge of that circle, and it will then create a hole in that circle. Now, one thing that's important is that hole is, is actually made up of points. And so you can, if you want to adjust that hole in terms of like having more points, if you want it to be a really uh, smooth circle, you can open up your magic wand settings by going to design menu, going to magic wand settings. And here I can adjust that circle to have a certain amount of segments. Um, I can increase the segments or decrease them. Uh, I can, you know, the deviation occurs, various options here. But what's really important for you to know is that you really don't want too many points on this um, uh, complex profile if you can avoid it. The reason is if I had a really fine circle here, say so maybe I had 100 points there, and I've got this you know, complex profile I'm using throughout my project, and it's creating a lot of these points. Well, every one of those points is actually adds additional memory, right, to ArchiCAD in terms of processing. And so you really want to, and, and most people are never going to see that. When you take a section through it, they're not going to see that kind of uh, uh, detail level of the points. So you really don't need more than like eight points here, right? Um, but you can increase or decrease those. Uh, and so but my, my suggestion is to keep this fairly minimal in terms of the amount of points. And here you go. Are you going to see now that is the rebar going through it? You know, and for all intents and purposes, when we look at this, which we typically would look at as, a, as just a view like this, right? That's going to be fine. That's, you know, circle we're seeing here is going to be just fine. On uh, 3D, we're going to see that going through the model like that. Now, if you want to draw framing onto a um, complex profile, if you were to take one of ArchiCAD's uh, current uh, profiles that they have available and you open it up and you start to use it, and you took a section through it and, and, and you, know, you look at that section, it would look like there's two lines there. But the reality is it's not actually two lines. It's actually four fill patterns. <laughs> that's kind of making that up, right? Um, and actually, in some cases, it might be one fill pattern that someone has simply uh, um, split into four parts, but it's actually one, one fill. And, and, and the point being is that ArchiCAD, when it deals with complex profiles, it can't create a line on the fill pattern that's going to create that look as if it is, is a line across here. If you want a line coming across like an X, in, in a two by to show it right as a two by uh, typical kind of graphic, then you need to split that uh, fill pattern into whatever it is you you, you need to do to uh, make it to reflect that kind of line uh, coming across there. It's not a true line; it's actually a fill. But again, when you look at it from afar, it's going to look as if it is actually lines. You know, when I do a section through it. It's going to look like it's lines when I go to 3D, but if I zoom in really tight to that, I'm actually going to see that's actually a fill that's being extruded uh, along with that. So keep that in mind. If you want to create those kind of graphics, that's the way that Graphsoft is doing it, is by, by doing it with the fill patterns and breaking those fill patterns up. Uh, you can also model elements with objects, right? 
So I can bring objects from manufacturers such as, um, you know, Simpson Strong Ties. Uh, it has a lot of, op obviously, a lot of framing components that get added to walls. And this is actually from, excuse me, one of my clients who actually is, you know, going to Simpson's uh, website. He's downloading these objects, bringing them into Archicad, converting those into, into Archicad objects, so he can actually use these for the attachments, for the tie downs, etc. cetera. Uh, and he's actually, you know, building his models with this kind of level of detail. So you can obviously go out and bring that kind of information in here as well. And here is actually a good example of that Simpson Strong Tie website where he's gone out, the Revit models. Um, he's brought those in here using uh, BIM 6X. I don't know if you know that. This is a, uh, if you haven't used this before, um, there's a Revit, Revit add-on to Archicad at BIM6X.com. And if you go there, you can download it for whatever version you have of Archicad and then install that. When it gets installed, uh, you'll have in your file menu here under libraries, you'll have the ability to import RFA objects. And then those RFA objects, which are Revit uh, object formats, get converted into an object, an uh, Archicad object format, which is GDL. And then you can then use those in Archicad. So that is our tip of the week today.